Now, once again, this is nothing. Uh, this is nothing very, very new. Experienced clinicians know this already. Now, when it comes to correction of the keratoconus, you do therefore have a lot of different options that is there for you to correct it, all the way from spectacles to your most advanced uh, scleral contact lenses. There's a whole range of them that are there that uh, are meant for the correction of these lenses and uh, make a correction of this condition. And these lenses all have a whole range of different uh, fitting philosophies, comfort levels in the eye, the cost to the patient are all significantly uh, different. So considering the whole range that is available when you have to fit, what is the evidence of uh, the visual functions improvement? Is one lens uh, doing any better compared to the other lenses? So this is what Pritam asked in his uh, study. And uh, what we found is data that is similar to what I showed you earlier here. This is the old data that I showed you in terms of spectacle correction. And when you fit the eye with Kerosoft contact lenses or rose case RGPs and sclerals, you certainly see an improvement that has happened compared to a spectacle corrected conditions. Any of these contact lenses are doing much better. And the improvement is more so for the severe guys than for these uh, and then for the early eyes. But what was a little bit lukewarm in terms of a response was uh, there was no significant difference between the performance of these four lenses. The difference was not very, very strong. Sclerals may have done a tad bit better than your RGPs and your rose case, but not a whole lot. Kerasoft, at least in our cohort, did not do very good. So in the order of improvement in visual acuity, spectacles was, of course, resulted in the worst uh, performance, followed by Kerasoft, then Grosscape, then are these two guys, your RGP contact lenses and your scleral contact lenses. Contrast sensitivity function was very, very similar, uh, where Kerasoft didn't do great and RGPs and mini sclerals did an uh, equally good job. Stereo acuity, a very, very similar story. So bottom line, even though you have a whole range of different uh, correction options in keratoconus, so from the um, visual functions point of view and also from the aberrations point of view, these lenses do not do terribly different from each other. Now, what will end up defining whether one lens has to be fit on the patient or the other probably has got to do more with the fitting uh, comfort um, and the long-term wearability of these lenses and stuff more than the visual functions itself. Cost is also likely to play a very predominant role because uh, these scleral lenses are at least 10 times more expensive than your RGP lenses. So depending upon affordability also, the choice of the lenses may actually define. But at least from the visual functions point of view, they all do more or less similar.